Hello everyone, this is Infraze, and as you've already noticed from the title of this video, I will be reviewing Far From Noise. Anyways, so Far From Noise was released back in 2017, so not new by any means necessary. However, it doesn't mean that this game doesn't stand up to the games of 2020. Now, Far From Noise is a narrative-driven game, so from the cover it may look like you'll be going on this beautiful grand adventure, and well, in a sense you kind of do. The gameplay pretty much consists of you selecting your own responses, whether it's to yourself, out loud, or what's going on around you. For example, the talking deer in the game. Might I say, one of the wisest deers that I've ever encountered. Now, Far From Noise was really hard for me to review because in a sense I felt what I experienced playing this game will be vastly different from what someone else will experience, and I mean of course that goes basically for any game. The thing is, with this game, the dialogue choices that are provided are different personality-wise, and what I mean by that is, you can essentially pick an answer that would more closely resemble your personality and your perspective on things. On top of that, you really just lose yourself in this game's story with this unnamed person sitting on the edge of the cliff. You listen to everything that's going on around you, and you can really take everything in because, well, you're literally far from noise, just as the title of this game incurs. The gameplay for this game is really bare, and I don't know if I can really call selecting dialogue gameplay. However, if you allow it, you're really immersed into the story, and I say that because before I knew it, the end of the story came to an end and I found out that I was already an hour and plus into this game. Now there are moments in the story where you would hear a sudden change in music which actually helps set the whole mood for the current situation, and I found that really really nice. This is something that I normally would not do because I know that it would impact my overall review of a game, but I saw a review mention that they would have loved it if there was voiceover spoken over the dialogue. At the moment, I kind of agreed with this person, but thought about it a bit more and realized that if this were the case, it just wouldn't be the same. The fact that while I decided on a dialogue, I read it to myself in a tone that I had decided to use and that made the game experience just much, much better. This game of course isn't perfect and it does have its flaws. On a replayability standpoint, you can of course replay this game over and over again and pick different dialogue combinations. But in reality, how many times can you actually see yourself experiencing this before it becomes, well, not this beautiful experience that you experienced the first time playing through it? I myself was satisfied with one playthrough and I'm happy with the story that I got. I don't know if I would like to ruin that by playing again. Plus, I don't know if that one hour playtime will just feel like forever the second run through. Anyways. I really can't say much else about Far From Noise. If you haven't played this game yet, I would highly recommend it. You can find more info about this game in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed my honest review from Far From Noise. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't, please leave a comment why. Don't forget to sub for more game reviews. Thank you.